I've got my new marker lights for my truck. We're going to install the day after tomorrow. Clear lens. It does have the orange on the side, but that's okay. Looking forward to getting those put on. Also, my new blower motor for the bunk heater. I know you guys have been hearing about this a lot. Slowly getting to the point of getting it fixed, one thing at a time. So now we've got a rebuild kit that was sent to me from my friend Jim. So I'm able to get everything else rebuilt in it. And I've also bought a new blower motor because I think the electric fan motor in there is shot because the fan won't even start turning now. But if I reach in there and give it a little helping start, oh, then it fires up for a little bit and then it gets, you know, goes up and down, up and down, and also just shuts off again. So I'm pretty sure that blower motor like this in the bunk heater is shot. So we got a new one. We gotta install this day after tomorrow. I had to pick it up today because uh, today's Saturday when I'm filming this. And Monday is the day I booked off to get all this stuff done. Uh, it's uh, Louis Real Day here in Manitoba. So it's a, it's a provincial holiday. Not much stuff is open and the post office isn't open here. So I won't be able to pick anything up. So I had to pick it up today. So I just brought it here to the shop so it's all ready, checked on everything. I gotta get back to the house. Theo is napping right now and I wanna get there before he wakes up. So not much going on today. It's my day off. Whoa, I'm, I'm, this lighting is not gonna work. How's that? Got the baby monitor here, he's napping. Britt has gone into town to, uh, or across town to grab some groceries and stuff. I've still not gotten you straight on here, have I? I'm struggling with my angles here. It's a little bit too low. What if I just jack you up just a little bit? That's not gonna work either. One second, I gotta figure this out. There, sort of got you. Not the most flattering angle, I know, but uh, working here, getting all my clips from the last couple of days all organized so that I can put them into vlogs for you. As of right now, this moment when I'm filming this, I have all the way up until Tuesday edited. Uh, that was where we were in Quebec still. And now I have to edit the trip back. So there was uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today is Saturday. Uh, four days that I gotta edit. That's why the videos are a little bit behind because on the way back, I didn't have time to edit. Uh, it was just go, 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 go. Uh, so once I get home and I get some time, uh, like, he's napping now, so I have a little bit of time to get everything organized. On Monday, I was already telling you, that's sort of my day that I booked off to get some stuff done at the shop. I'm probably going to catch up on some videos then as well. What is free time, right? I don't, I don't have any free time. This is the freest of time I have. The, the wife has gone to get groceries, my son is sleeping, and I have maybe, maybe an hour, maybe two, to get some stuff done. Not to just sit and do nothing. <laughs> That's life, right? That's life. I like to be busy. I think I told you that this week, right? I like to stay busy. I don't like having nothing to do. I don't know what it feels like to be bored. Uh, I'm never, I don't ever have time to be bored. Must be nice. I wish I had more time to sleep. That's what I'd like. I don't even want to be bored. I just, I guess that's what happens. If I'm bored, I just sleep. I just go to sleep. I'm an old man now. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah, we'll get this all together. And uh, I showed you the blower motor that came in so that bunk heater that i've been talking about for a good month now uh, there is no just just running kerosene through an, it through it isn't doing the trick and now the fan stopped working and uh i can't remember how much i explained to you while i was at the shop i guess while i'm editing this i'll, I'll know if i'm repeating myself or not but i apologize if i am repeating so the fan doesn't want to turn but i'll reach in there and i'll give it a little to give it a little bit of a help and then it goes up for a little while, and then it sort of loses power and loses momentum and then goes back down. So I'm pretty sure that it's the blower fan motor that's burnt out or just old. So I'm replacing that. And then my friend Jim in the U.S. Uh, has very kindly sent me a rebuild kit, which isn't like I don't take the whole bunk heater apart and like rebuild. It's not like rebuilding a motor. It's It's got gaskets, so I replace the gaskets. I take it all apart. I can replace the glow plug 
all of the screens in there. I clean it all out of all the soot, make sure that all the airways are clear. And then I put it all back together with the new gaskets and new fuel filters. And then that new blower motor will go in there as well. I plug it in and cross my fingers and hope that, that it'll work. So I'm gonna try to do this myself to save some money because uh, we've had some expenses pop up lately. As you, as you saw in my video, was that yesterday? I, we shared with you the expenses of the IVF and this is our second time going through it. And uh, I like to share that with you because there's a lot of people, a lot of people. Like it, it seems like it used to be more of a taboo subject to talk about being on uh, or going through IVF. But it's so common. Once you go through it, you, you meet so many people. So many people. It's it's kind of alarming how the fertility rates have dropped in our countries. It's It has to be in the food we eat, right? We The doctor can't even explain it. Everything's working right with me. Everything's working right with her. I have a good count. She has good eggs. They, but the meeting is just not happening. But we know it's possible because we have our son, right? It, with the help of the doctors, yeah, it happens just like that. It's just a thing in life. Uh, that's that's just how our life has been, I guess. It's the cards we've been dealt. So thank God for modern medicine and modern doctors. And it's amazing what they can do. It's amazing. It's incredible. And then we get him. Mm -hmm. So in the coming months, you'll hear me talking about it a little bit, just to keep everybody up to date on what our second journey is like going through this process. If you guys were with us through the whole last process, well, it's the same thing all over again. We just live in a different house now. And we'll see how that goes. But the truck, uh, I need to go there also after I'm done working on the bunk heater. Hopefully we can get that working. And then I got to replace those signal lights yet. Uh, I need to rinse it down. And I want to start trying that POR15, the rust sealant. Little little sections at a time. I'm trying to seal my frame behind my cab. All of the paint has been sort of sandblasted off by the road and road grime over the years, right? The truck's got a lot of miles on it. And all the paint's come off, which means that the metal's exposed to the elements, exposed to oxygen and exposed to moisture, which you know what that does with metal. It creates rust. And rust isn't good because rust eats into it and can weaken it over time, and I don't want it to get to that. So, for now, I'm going to seal it so that it's not exposed to the elements, so that it doesn't rust further, that it maintains its strength. And in about two years is what my plan is right now. It's in my two to three year plan. I'm thinking probably early 2026. So that's all of 2024, all of 2025. In early 2026 is when I want to do the frame job on my truck which means we want to put an extra 24 inches on it i want to mount an apu on it an apu is an auxiliary power unit for those who aren't in trucking and what it does is uh in winter time it keeps the cab of my it's a separate engine that runs uh runs off diesel fuel i believe i just out of the tanks but it's a separate motor altogether so you don't have to idle your truck motor which saves a lot of money in the long run it uses a lot less fuel than idling as well it keeps your whole cab warm in the winter time and it also keeps your engine warm and it keeps your batteries charged. So you never have to worry about having dead batteries in the morning. And the thing that that does that my bunk heater that I have now doesn't do, other than charging the batteries, uh, it also provides air conditioning in summertime. So I'm a Canadian. I, I kind of like it cold. I don't like it minus 30 cold. That's beyond cold, but I like it cool. I always like everything to be cool. In summertime, I really struggle in the heat, especially if I go south and it's ridiculously hot. I find it hard to breathe. I can't sleep. And if I'm not sleeping, that makes me more tired. I like to have it cool. So this, this APU, what it'll do is it mounts on your frame in that extra 24 inches, that extra two feet that I'm stretching it. It'll mount on there, it hooks up, and then it pumps air conditioning into your truck and you don't have to idle your engine again. There's some states in the U.S. where you're not even allowed to idle your engine, like New York, where we were recently. Not allowed to idle your engine, so you have to have something like that to keep cool. Otherwise, you know, you can get hot and Bad things happen when you get too hot, especially if your body's not used to it. So that's the plan for that. And then on the other side of the frame, this APU on the passenger side, probably on the other side, I'm going to put a, a chain rack there. It's just pretty much hooks with a lock that goes over it where I can put my tire chains. That way they're nice and visible. They're out in the open. They're easy to get to. They're also visible to DOT when you go over the scales, when you're in a region that requires chains. 
they can see, oh yeah, this guy's got his chains on there. They look neat, they look clean, they look well kept. And then there's more of a chance they'll just let him go through. Like, this guy's good. This guy's good. They won't want to pull me in to make sure I have chains or something. They can see them right there. Right? So that's that's one thing I want to do with that. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Not much of a vlog today. This is just sort of an update video, just me sitting down. Chatting with you guys, it's the weekend. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I don't know if you're watching this on the weekend or not, but uh, whenever you have your day off. If it happens to be today, great. Whenever you have a day off, I hope you have one coming soon. I hope it's a good one. I hope you get to relax and uh, take some time just to decompress a little bit. Tomorrow there will be another video up. Uh, we have... What are we doing tomorrow? Well, I'll be at home again tomorrow, so I'm not sure if there will be a video filmed tomorrow here at home unless it's just another one like this just sitting down us chatting maybe i'll do a live stream but on monday that's when uh, we'll be at the shop you can come in and laugh at me as i attempt to fix this bunk heater once and for all it's been my arch nemesis this winter i, I haven't been able to get it fixed so I'm, I'm, I'm doing the real thing now i'm taking it apart you can uh, feel free to tune in and laugh at me see if i can actually fix something or not <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing I got YouTube, and I got the parts. I got tools, so I'll figure it out. I'll see you guys a little later.